to use the simulator, you can adjust the gray boxes to help you decide if it is an exothermic reaction, where the reactants are higher than the products, have a higher energy than the products, or you can set it as an endothermic reaction, where the products have higher energy than the reactants. If you want to add molecules to the chamber, say you want to add reactants, if the reaction is existing mostly as the reactants, you can type in the number of particles that you want for um, the reactants, which is A. So A is representing our reactants, B is representing our products. And when you hit enter, those reactant molecules will be released. You will want to wait for some period of time for this to come to equilibrium. Equilibrium occurs when the amount of products and the amount of reactants remains relatively constant for a period of time. If you want to add either reactant or product, you can adjust those amounts by adjusting the amount of A or B that are in the simulation. So say we are at equilibrium and we want to add more reactants, we could change the amount of reactants after you have disturbed the equilibrium or after one of the experiments has occurred. Again, you'll want to wait some time until this reaction comes to equilibrium before you take your screenshot. So once the values for A and for B remain relatively constant, for some period of time, that will be your um, will be equilibrium. Now, the B may not be the dominant species. It may not be present in a larger quantity than A, but you should see some shift towards that um, product. If you're adding more of the reactants, you should see a change in the number of product molecules. If you want to add heat, you can use the little bar at the bottom to add heat. You'll notice the thermometer is increasing in temperature. Our molecules are starting to gain energy. If you want to remove heat, you can add ice to the simulation that will cool the thermometer down and remove heat from the simulation. The molecules will, will lose energy. The ruler in the center represents our activation energy for the reaction. And through the course of the demonstration that is provided, your activation energy should remain constant.